We are about 47 miles south of Birmingham, Alabama, and heading to the location given to us by Mike. Be prepared if you plan on going to the location. It is difficult getting there and easy to get lost. The Cahaba River is the longest substantially free-flowing river in Alabama and is among the most scenic and biologically diverse rivers in the United States. We are here at the location that Mike's research suggests that this is where the accident happened. So far I can tell we got two rock pylons that suggest that a bridge once stood here. The next plan of action is to determine if this structure here is the same as in the accident pictures. I am looking for any evidence on the west pylon to compare with the accident pictures. I noticed in the surrounding area of the west pylon more evidence of a collapsed bridge, which suggests that this could be the right location where the accident happened. But my results at this point are inconclusive. My attention now shifted to the east pylon and again attempting to compare it with the accident pictures and I was able to observe several similarities between the accident pictures and the east pylon. After comparing the pylons with the photos of the accident, the evidence around it and overlaying old maps with the l and railroad tracks and the location of the town of Hardgrove I am convinced that this is the location where the accident happened. The only mystery that remains is the addition to the pylons. This section here is missing in the original accident pictures. Through the research we were unable to find any records when and why this addition was added. It's hard to believe that this beautiful area was the scene for one of the deadliest train wrecks in Alabama. The location is very remote, and even in today's standard, hard to get to. And it does not make sense that someone would go through all this to commit a robbery. Let's get back and meet with Terry.